Wow, what's going on? It's Popzilla here once again, and today I got a Melee Frenzy Berserker build lined up for you. This has been in works for a very long time. In fact, half the gear I'm using I actually bought over two months ago. I can still remember the day I saw the beautiful Crucible node, which provides increased critical strike chance to Frenzy and Barrage skills per Endurance Charge. I was having a picnic with the homeless person and halfway through our meal he asked me if I had some spare change. I did not, I replied. He wasn't too happy and threw half of the eaten sandwich in my face. Knowing it was good luck to get hit by partially consumed deli meats in the noggin by a drunk and unwashed person, I took it as a sign to start searching PoE trade. After many moons of rummaging, I finally found what I was looking for. When I first found my swords, the helm and couple other pieces, I was planning on making it under a completely different ascendancy. But then, much like a crow, I got distracted by a shiny item and made a different build, and promptly forgot about this frenzy business. Two long months and 14.7 builds later, I had an epiphany. While rubbing the scar left by the errant sandwich, I fired up POB, imported my frenzy items, and made this gem of a build. As I may have already hinted, this build revolves around Frenzy and Endurance Charges. Though I can see how it may be a bit confusing because the charges orbit physically around the character just like the Sun and the Moon orbit Earth. Alright, let's start with the synergies I got going on. I knew the Abyss's Helm was going to get me in trouble because of its increased physical damage taken affix. So, so, so. to counteract that, I am running Arctic Armor. And I focused on getting some armor on my gear. But more importantly, getting as many endurance charges as my little crow talons could carry. Which is also what powers up my crit chance thanks to my sword crucible nodes. The rare sword I wield provides me with 25% increased critical damage per endurance charge. And the red blade unique sword in my offhand gives me 40% increased crit chance per. Collectively, they give me something like 30% of my overall crit chance and it accounts for about 35% of my total damage. I'm sitting on 8 endurance charges thanks to the passive tree, ring, boots, and forbidden jewels allocating Chieftain's Velaco node. Using the Frenzy skill auto-generates Frenzy charges, which is very nice. I chose to use the Divergent variant because it enables hitting of one additional enemy. With the Amulet Anointment, Corruption on Gloves, and the Passive Tree, I am rocking seven total Frenzy charges. The Blood Rage is just for an additional attack speed, but if one would need Life Leech, well one has it. Mmm, yes. And here, I recorded just a bit of footage with the Savior Sword. I couldn't get one with the Frenzy node, so therefore I chose not to use it. Especially since I didn't think it was a necessity. Though the Sheet DPS does go down quite a bit, the two Mirage Warriors more than make up for the loss of damage. I didn't have any explosions built into this character, so the Savior is a nice way to kill stragglers that are left behind here and there. Over the rainbow. <laughs> All right, let's go over the gear. Beautiful Rare Sword is something like 400 Fizz DPS with Life Leech and the Crit Node. The Red Blade Unique Sword with a bit of crit, attack speed, and here I could have chosen weapon range, but the ink charge duration is such a nice quality of life. I had to go for it. And the Crit Node. Abysses with Frenzy Enchant. Wow, yes. First build of the league where I actually have an enchant on my helm. Brass Dome. Combined with max resistances on the tree, I have pretty alright resistances. Something like 83, 82, 82. A decent amulet with frenzy anointment, a ring with accuracy and some stats, endurance charge implicit ringo, pretty cool frenzy charge gloves I bought a few days ago for about 100 chaos, nice belt with life, and here I chose to get a bit of crit and multi on the abyssal jewel, even though I don't have any other abyssal jewels. And boots with endurance charge. Progenesis is not necessary, but since I was finally able to afford one after finding the Squire Shield last week, I decided to treat myself. The tree is pretty standard. This is a physical damage based build and relies on impales. So I have a Watcher's Eye with impale and I get my mana leech from this jewel right here. Oh, last thing of note, which is pretty cool. Since the Frenzy skill 
has the projectile tag, BAM! These nodes right here can be taken. Alternative gear section. Initially, I thought I was gonna have like 147% total crit chance, so I thought with Maraliness, I could get like a thousand crit multi. Why not? Let's go for it. But as it turns out, my sword's only having base crit of 5.5%, I really didn't even have a chance. I mean, I'm still using a diamond flask and assassin's mark to get my crit up, but it may be an option for you. We are a berserker and we get rage natty like, but I decided I wanted the rage support as well in my main setup to get the rage up faster and help with the berserk uptime when it came to boss fights. But I did consider using Kaom Spirit to have it up even further or just use berserk while mapping because that would really make it shine. I didn't think I needed it, but maybe you do. Another glove option is the Explode Gloves. I tested them, didn't find them worthwhile, just like the Devastator or the Sublime Vision Explosions. To me, they were all a bit inconsistent, and if anything, I would choose the Savior over Explosions on this build. I also wanted to highlight these boots because in the past I've made builds centered around the Ancestral Totem Buffage, and these were great, so test them out if you can. And lastly, I use Pride, Arctic Armor, and Dread Banner. But if you want more damage or need accuracy, then these may be the spell aura thingies for you. <laughs> Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time with another beautiful build. Hmm. Yes. <laughs> yes? Hmm, yes. <laughs>